Gentlemen, I've gathered you all here today for the start of something new. A brand new journey. One that has been uh, slightly requested. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Buster I Shinobi. Today we are beginning, well, kind of, Dragon Ball Super. And like I said, a lot of you have been requesting this for a fat minute, seeing as I did the Kakarot series over on Jack the Bus. I've been playing through Xenoverse 2 and loving it. And now that we've watched Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, it's time to get into this bad boy. So I believe those two movies cover up to episode 27, so we're starting on episode 28. If you're new to the channel, drop a sub so you don't miss any of the rest of the series, and let's get started. Episode 28 is called The Sixth Universe's Destroyer. His name is Champa. Champa? Now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I only ever saw like one Z opening. Aww. Now I've watched scenes here and that's so bizarre that Boo's just like vibing now. Oh, there's the other cat. I remember back during when I did the super tier list that that there, not, there wasn't just Beerus. I thought there were three. I don't know. I'll probably go back and go to my power rankings tier list of super that I did blind like forever ago and see all my, my selections. I always thought there was another cat. I don't know if that's like a relation to Beerus or maybe like a Beerus race. Now, if you missed my reactions to Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, I actually do love Beerus a lot as a character. He's probably in my favorite. There's the blue hair. He's probably my favorite, like, out of those two movies that was sort of, like, new concepts and stuff introduced. The sixth universe's destroyer. His name is Champa. Did I know what universe we are in? Is this the sixth? Oh, wait, that was Whis with him. Oh, wait. 49,000. 995. Yeah, that's my typical day at the gym. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was their arms at first. Are they just like weighted suits? Oh, is it another Whis and another Beerus? What the? I've told you a million times not to make so much noise while I'm attempting to take a nap. And what? He just destroyed his house. Why do I feel like he is always sort of like uh, on the edge of just blowing everything up? Just chucked a bomb at them. Uh oh, there's more coming. <laughs> we gotta find somewhere to hide or we're tough. He's actually trying to kill them. He did have a short fuse in Battle of Gods, to be fair. But he does want them to get stronger. I think he cares about them now. When you're a big star like me, you have to make a big entrance. Something with a little panache. Not as impressed with <laughs> this oh, Beerus' look, voice. You can just keep on quaking in your boots until I arrive. Is this like a rival? <laughs> I feel like this is like a friendly <laughs> rival. But why do they look so much like them? How are you out of breath? You are getting too fat, my lord. <laughs> Vados. Vados. Dang, dude. That is kind of boring. I'm not going to lie. Oh, is this Champa? Oh, this is Champa. Okay. Champa and Vados. Champa, bro? But he brought his, his big water jug. <laughs> Wait, it doesn't even look like water. What is it? We just walked a zillion miles. A zillion? Negative calories. I don't think that's how that works. You'd actually have to skip dinner and breakfast tomorrow morning. Just <laughs> Did she just calculate the calories? He's about to, to knock on his yeah, bust door. the door nice down. This does seem like a friendly rival type. Oh, he beat you to the punch. Oh my. Wait, what is that? Was that the door? What the hell? Oh, there goes Beerus. He's just looking for Goku and Vegeta. Goku, Vegeta, Beerus! There you are! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got that present mic, yo. Well, that's a hell of a way to greet someone, isn't it? <laughs> His face is like, it's like all, it looks burned. Oh, I guess from the door busting that way. He doesn't know who he is? Who are you? Way. Oh, okay. I thought they knew each other and this was like a regular thing. It's Jumpa. Oh. Oh. He just didn't. Oh well, my. Pierce, he looks want. barely well, any different from whatever the burns are on him. I only regret that my aim was a little off. Such insolence. This feels like a, like a little sibling, big sibling like rivalry. What is that drink? How are you drinking that? <laughs> Is this glutton? Vegeta, you hang out with because? Goku. What you mean glutton? Are they disciples of yours? You look like Lord Beerus, only a lot fatter. My, My goodness, Goku. Yeah. <laughs> no Lord filter. Beerus. Oh, they're br Lord they Chapa. are brothers. Are you saying that there are two destroyers? Well, not in this room. It doesn't seem as threatening. Lord is the destroyer of the sixth universe. Who's stronger, you or Lord Beerus? <laughs> <laughs> Vegeta was get, about to get all like, no, oh my no, God, wait, there's well, multiverses there's no and whatnot. Ask. Given their physiques, it should oh. be obvious. Dang, oh. even his so, his Whis. What is it you want from me, Champa? So is this Whis's sibling too? The fact is I came here to give you a taste of something devilishly world shattering. Shiver me timbers. It is an orb of sorts. Oh. A container of sorts? 
Oh, they're eggs. Old about them, but hard boiled. Ugh, I'm getting cell flashbacks. Just so delicious, eggs. I guarantee they'll leave you speechless. Oh, you eat them? Talk. You boys can each have one. Oh, Don't thanks. Do they like, make you stronger? <laughs> the biting Take sound reminds me of like Scooby Doo. Nothing special about it. Well, I feel like it's like a power oh, spike egg. Food from the sixth universe makes whatever slop you offer here taste like. Oh, you should see sweet. Earth. That's the whole reason Beerus and or Weez, Beerus and Weez didn't Don't destroy Earth. Scam me. Show them. Of course. Right away, my lord. Oh, hell yeah. This stuff? What is it? <laughs> He's wait, like, just on. wait. Oh. How does he not burn his mouth every time he eats, bro? Oh. His face! Chompa's kind of adorable. I'm not going to lie. He's like a less threatening version of Beerus to me. <laughs> It's like less intimidating. Oh no, now he's wanna, gonna wanna go to Earth. So the whole thing was just to bring the eggs? How can you make something so good just by adding hot rum? <laughs> it really it? is magic. It's instant rum. <laughs> it's positively brimming with all kinds of scrumptious treats. So many, in fact, that I can't even count them. I hope one day uh, they don't get tired of Earth's food. That's gonna be a disastrous day. It. Hopefully by then they just like Goku and Vegeta enough and everybody on Earth. Is the sixth universe? Is anyone going to explain he's this to He's the only me? one questioning it. There there are a total of 12 universes. The universe that we're all standing in at the moment oh. is known as the seventh universe. Oh. These two universes are remarkably similar and have an almost twin-like relationship. Wait, was this even a concept in C? I'm guessing not, since Vegeta doesn't even know about it. The first and twelfth universes go together. Oh. As do the second and the Oh, I see. So six and seven would go together. The twelfth and then the thirteenth and the, you know, could you just explain it one more time? <laughs> I'll catch you up later. He called that lady his sister. There's an air of toughness. Ah, to so it is siblings as well. Master. There have got to be hundreds of warriors out there who are stronger than we are. You say that like it's a good thing. Yeah. I see how this is already over. Sorry, we slayed. Wait, but yeah, that's not Earth. Sixth universe's Earth was plunged into a foolish conflict. Wait, what? Their <laughs> Earth? And oh, that's so sad. Well, that's downright tragic, Champa. <laughs> <laughs> you just left in your lousy universe. Oh. Maybe no one to make those dishes for you. I wonder how different the Earth there would have been, though. It I already see how this is opening it up to more really powerful people, though. Too. Different universes. I, mean, to turn it into space dust once or twice. I feel like everybody in the show has. <laughs> he just wants to go to theirs. Let's have a oh, contest, no. Huh? A contest? I made a fighting competition, obviously. He just wants and it to taste Earth's food. Earths with each other. Really? What? You want no! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> He's so offended. You said fighting, not pie eating, right? Dang! Poor um, Chompa! Uh oh. <laughs> they both just start like raising, levitating. Beerus, don't put Earth on the line. What is he gonna give you if you win? I don't like where this is going. Two destroyer, hey, destroyers hey, fighting each other. Can't for me, Vegeta. He just walked off. Two destroyers fighting each other can't end well. We've seen how powerful Beerus is fighting Goku. Oh, oh, here they go. This is like a mirror so match, like they're dead awesome. even. They look at it like it's normal. Is that from them punching each other? That's enough. Oh. What was happening? Was everything just corroding? I wasn't proposing we simply fight each other. Contestants we choose from each of our universes. A tournament so arc? That'd be sick. What would I gain from such a silly contest? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. What does he get? I've devoted a lot of time and effort to collecting wish orbs. Lord Chompa, shut up. Wish orbs? Look, these magical spheres that I've gathered can grant anything your heart desires. Wait, yes, you mean you mean Dragon Balls? Now I currently have six of them on hand. Oh! So, those things sound kind of like Dragon Balls, don't they? It sounds like the exact same thing. We already have those in our universe. The real ones are on a different scale. They're so big they should be called planets and there's no what? no restraints on them catchy name like super dragon balls Whoa. how do you like dragon ball super than yours oh. oh you're super jealous i know you super want them now don't you look at you're so quick to wager them and it's clear to me that you no, have they're not that big of a deal of ever finding the last one. Oh yeah i bet bulma could find it in no time goku why would you say anything uh, man i mean it's she true she probably could but what what is the point of putting oh, no. earth on the line like this so would something this. happen if they can moved at universes would everybody die what would well no i guess because he won Want to the be food portion of it. Why doesn't he just visit Earth? Can he not? But skills honed under the pressure of actual combat can truly approach True. Perfection. Yes, I'm in. It's set, baby. So five from each? Who's right, gonna be the five from use this universe? Battle. I guess yeah, Beerus and Champa can't can fight because if they fight, they set and it would destroy everything. Uh, He's so excited. Uh, oh yeah! 
and there we have it my first episode of dragon ball super very very clearly setting up this overarching thing with uh, a sort of tournament and i'm excited to see how it goes i feel like this is this is going to be some big world building stuff in terms of like introducing people from other the other universe and seeing just how powerful they can get but again why, why doesn't champa just visit earth pay, pay pay earth like a little vacation can he not i'm down for the concept i think champa's a good character i like the way the the him and uh beer sort of bounce off of each other but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my first reaction to episode 28 once again drop a sub on the channel if you're new so you don't miss the rest of this journey and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace peace